All right, October 7th, 2020 vocabulary. So we have a chart here. We have the vocabulary word um, in the first column. The second column, we have the definitions. And the third column, we have the examples. So let's start here with multiple. We are missing the definition for the multiple. Um, examples, multiples of six are six, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. Same thing, another example of multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and they keep going on and on and on. Multiple, what is a multiple? Is it another is it a number that can be divided by another number without a remainder? <gasps> yeah, that's actually the first one that we get. Yes, it is. So it can go in completely and um, without any remainders. Least common multiple is the smallest positive number. So the smallest positive number that is a multiple of two or more numbers. For example, least common multiple, the first number that 9 and 12 have in common, the LCM, is 36. So that's circled there. All right, this is a new term today. So prime factorization is going to be the breakdown of a composite number into a product of prime numbers. So when you take a number, a composite number, meaning a number that has more factors than just one in itself, you're going to start with that number and you are going to break it down and it's actually going to be called, what we are going to call it is a factor tree. So a factor tree, do you see how this kind of starts with 72 at the top and then it breaks it down until it gets into prime numbers. So prime factorization. So factorization um, is going to be when you factor it. So composite number. A composite number is going to be a number that can has more than one multiple, more than um, the factors of one in itself. So, for example, if we look at um, composite numbers, a number that only has two factors, one in itself, no. Composite means it can have anything. Prime means, oh, prime time. It's only one in itself. It's prime. Um, oh, so actually we can act put that definition there. So prime numbers is a number that has only two factors, one in itself. So the examples that is given is three, seven, five. Those are all prime numbers because you can only do one and three are factors of three. So one times three is three. Nothing else you can multiply to get three exactly with whole numbers. Same thing with seven, one and seven. Same thing with five, one and five. Um, so Composite number is going to be a positive integer that has at least one divisor and other than one in itself. So it has to have at least um, one and six for the example here. Six is a composite number because it's not prime. So six is a composite number because one times six equals six and then two times three equals six. So do you see how there's another factor pair in there that is not just one in itself? Same thing with 8. We have um, 1 times 8 is 8. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8. Same thing with 12. There's more than 1 there. And then last but not least, well, if we look at a factor, a factor is a number that will divide into another number without a remainder. So a factor, factors of 6 would be 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 equals 6. The 2 is a factor and 3 is a factor because it can go into 6. The greatest common factor or the GCF, is what we're going to talk about today. So the biggest number that will divide two or more numbers exactly. So the biggest number that will divide two or more other numbers exactly. So the greatest of the common factors. So common instead of the least of the common multiples, factors are things that stop. So factors of 20 are 1 and 20. So 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. And nothing else. So if we follow a rainbow method, which we will see shortly, that could be um, one way that you get that. And then factors of 28, 1 and 28, 2 times 14, and 4 times 7. So the biggest number that is a factor of 20 and 28, 1 is the smallest, so that's going to be the smallest for all of them. 2, nope, not the biggest yet. So the greatest or the biggest is going to be 4. There's nothing else bigger that can go into both 20 and 28 evenly. So that is our vocabulary for today.